olinbuchanantechsags.com. Nick, uh, could you just take us through that last sack uh, as it unfolded uh, the way you saw it? Um, well, you know, uh, coming off, off, the, off the, um, the bench, I'm like, I got to go make a play. You know, um, it's a tight game. You know, somebody need to make a play. And I was thinking, just getting a good get off. And I know he loves to roll out to that, that, that throwing hand. And, you know, when I see him, st like, get stuck in his read, I knew he was going to run. And that's when the instinct just kicked in, you know, and, get the ball out. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask, you know, you, you came here as the Big Ten sacks leader, and you had, I think, one or maybe two coming into this game. Mm -hmm. um, was there ever any frustration, any ever feeling to break out? And did you have that today, if, there were, if, if that was the case? You know, honestly, you know, you always want to be better. You always want to make more plays. But I think just, just the system – that I'm in, you know, creates plays for me. So I'm not going to, you know, really trip and get frustrated about not making as many sacks as I had last year or things like that. You know, I'm just letting the game come to me. And, you know, luckily today, God blessed me to, you know, uh, be rich in uh, two of them today. All right. We're going to go all the way back to the TV risers. Yeah, Nick, Tyler Shot with KBTX. Uh, you know, you said, you know, just kind of you let the game come to you. The very first play, um, I believe, was a tackle for loss for you. How much did just right off the get-go kind of that set the tone for you and the game you had today? Uh, you know, it, it really did. You know, it felt good to go out there and make that first play. You know, all week on film, you know, I'm seeing guys take that take that dive whenever, uh, you know, it's a short side of the field. You can you can sit that out. And when I see them pull it, and you know, it's just like when I was back at uh, Purdue, you know, I'm going to go make that play. And overall, as a defense, would you say this is kind of the most complete game so far you guys have put together? Yeah, man, I think I think defensively, man, you know, we play pretty good snaps, you know, but we just we have too many explosives, dog. Once we limit explosives, I think this defense can be really special. But, you know, we just got to come out and, you know, fix things, watch tape and, you know, limit some explosives. All right, Nick, we're going to go to the third row on the aisle right here. Yeah, Matt Kuzma on Texas A&M on his side. It's fitting you mentioned the explosives. That first drive, you know, get so close to a sack on third down, you know, on the bench, what's the message? Are you guys extra motivated to go get him the next drive? And it seems you all brought the pressure all night. Man, we're fired up. Uh, you know, obviously three guys around him, you know, we got to make that play. And the defense, like like I said, man, we put, we put the game on us. Like, like that, that room is so talented and there's so many good players in that room. Like, you know, something like that can't happen. You know, our guys are holding up in the back end long enough. We gotta, we gotta make that play. Uh, like, like, you know, like just that's the end of it. Uh, but you know, there was a lot of frustrations. But we went to the sideline. You know, we we knew what. Like, I mean, obviously we're, we're winning rushes. You know, that's not the problem. We just gotta get them down. So that's, that's all it was. You know, lifting our guys up, telling the linebackers and safeties and, that, and the DBs that it's on us. And you know, we're gonna go out and get after the quarterback. All right, Nick, so we're going to stay on the third row on the aisle right here. Tony Catalina, Austin American Statesman. Nick, obviously you see the way you and your teammates are specifically on the defensive line, how you guys interact. There's obviously a swagger. There's a confidence there. Can you tell me what like a game like this does for you and your guys specifically in that room? Oh, man, it, I mean, you know, to have, have so many guys go out there and rush well, play good run defense, you know, it's exciting. And, and, and you know, ever since I came here, man, it felt like a brotherhood. So, you know, we're going to go. You know, we're going to uh, watch the tape, you know, have some fun, joke around. We got, we got to get back to work, man. But it, it does so much, you know. The more and more we play with each other, the more comfortable we are, the more, you know, we just build that camaraderie and, uh, you know, it's special. Nick, we're going to go on the far right side here, four rows back. Carter Carls, 247 Sports. Uh, second half finishing games has been kind of an issue, but three points uh, allowed by you guys in the last three quarters. What was the difference between with that but also the difference with – giving up 14 in the first quarter and almost 200 yards and then finishing strong? You know, uh, our, some, our coaches put us up to a challenge, you know, this week. Uh, there was like a little thing about how we didn't allow our first, like a touchdown in the first quarter, you know, first, second quarter or something like that, man. And, and you know, uh, like Elko says always, you know, some guys get complacent. But I think they challenged us to be better in the fourth quarter, and that starts with practice. You know, uh, in the, like in the last part of practice, we we worked our ass off, and uh, like we just improved more at, the, at the, on the back end of practice. So I think once we just like you know we gel those together, and you know we 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 start hot, you know we finish hot. I think this can be a really good defense as well. Nick, we're gonna go six rows back right here on the aisle on the left side. Luke White with the battalion. Nick, I know it's your first time of a team, but have any of your teammates or coaches did they talk to you beforehand at all about how? close and kind of dramatic this rivalry these games tend to be did you come up with, come in with any expectation of it oh for sure i mean any game with a uh, trophy is you know a game that i want to win uh and like it's it's a rich history behind this game and uh you know arkansas is a good team you know arkansas is always going to play us really well 
And, you know, uh, I didn't take that lightly. You know, I wanted to be a part of that. And, and it was good that my first time playing in the game, I got to make a play. All right, we're going to go in the back, far back on the right-hand side. Nick Dimpeck, NBC College Station. Just for you guys as defense watching the offense on that drive where you all take the lead, especially, you know, converting on that tough third down the way Le'Veon did, and then they go down score. Uh, how much does it help for you? Well, what's that like watching that as a defense? And then how much does it help, you know, getting that last stop instead of getting a stop to give your offense a chance to tie the game, win the game? You're ahead, and maybe that can help dictate what they do, maybe limit some of their options. Oh, it was beautiful, you know. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Lev. I love the way Lev plays. You know, he runs the ball super hard. And just watching him go out there and make plays and watching the offense go out there and make plays is just special. You know, I couldn't sit down. I'm excited. I'm telling the guys, you know, let's get them up, man. Like, like, it, it, it was just a blessing. And, and it kind of, like, took a little ease off our back because we're like, all right, now we get to go rush. And this this is our specialty. So, you know, we appreciate those guys on that side. You know, we're, we're trying to do our as much as we can to help them. And I know that they're doing the same. So, you know, it was special to watch the – uh, Nick, we're going to go to the second row. Hey, Nick, uh, Travis Brown, KBTX. On that first sack, did you pull him down with one hand? I did. I, I got him. I, I grabbed his ankle. Have you ever gotten a, like a one-handed sack like that before? Yeah, you know, I grabbed like a shoulder pad. I've never got an ankle before, though. That was kind of a little different. And, and what is the Le'Veon like as a, as a teammate and a guy in the locker room? I mean, he's just a good dude, you know, very mature, you know, about his business. You know, he practices really hard, you know. And I'm not surprised that he's going out here and he's making so many plays and he's running the ball so hard. I remember one time I tried to, like, fit him up in practice. I think he gave me a stinger. I just like how hard he runs the ball, man. And, and like, I give all kudos to him. He's a, he's a really good player. All right, Nick, we're going to stay in the second row right here on the right side. Hey, Nick, you know, with, with, with the game being kind of a stalemate in the second and third quarters, is, is it challenging and kind of – pressuring for you guys to, you know, try and withstand uh, on defense drive after drive uh, with the offense not being able to get much? Um, you know, it's a, it's a game. Like, like coming into this, we knew it was going to be a dogfight. I wouldn't say it's pressure, and I think, I mean, you want you want that to be, like you want the game to be on us. Like if anybody, like like if anybody, you want it to be on us. And, you know, that's kind of how, how we knew it was going to be come out. And, you know, our coaches made adjustments, and, you know, guys stepped up and we made plays. And are you a Cowboys fan or no? My dad was watching this interview over there. I'm, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was it like to to get the trophy from Jerry one last time? Uh, it was it was special, you know. Um, it was special to, to, to this is my first time playing here, uh, so it was a special moment. But you know, for this to be the last game and for us to come out uh, on on top, it, it was special. All right, Nick, we're gonna go to the very back of the TV risers in the very back. Hey, Nick, Donna Conrad, uh, 15 ABC and Bryan College Station. Uh, just over the last three weeks, being able to watch Marcel on the sidelines, what have you seen from him and him being able to mature at such a young age this fast? Um, you know, a lot. Uh, like I said, man, the way guys practice is always going to show up. And Marcel, you know, obviously he, was a, he wasn't the starter in fall camp, you know, but every time he got in, he made, he made plays. made plays with his arm, made plays with his legs, and he all, he's always, like, the moment's never too big for him. You know, I've never seen him nervous or jittery, you know, before the game or anything like that. And I just think, you know, he was made to do this. Uh, so it's wonderful to see his process of how he's growing and improving as a quarterback. And, you know, I think, like, if, if he's the so be starter, you know, I think he's going to keep, you know, excelling and winning those football games. And as for your defense, you guys have talked about how, you know, you weren't getting as many turnovers maybe as you wanted in those first few games and that they would eventually come. Does it feel like a weight's been lifted now that you got a few today? Not at all. I think we got to go get some more. Yes, ma'am. All right, Nick, we're going to come right here to the front row to Mark. Uh, Mark Passwaters with Rivals. Uh, Nick, what did you guys say in the huddle before you went out there for their last possession after uh, you'd taken the lead? It was mostly like <laughs> Coach Pitcher, Coach Tony slapping the hell out of us and telling us to go get, go get, go get a sack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's all it was. You know, we're, we're about to go rush. Uh, this is, this is what, what you dream of as a D lineman. You know, um, guys were banged up, and guys went out there, and, you know, they, they ran after the ball that we could tend the quarterback. And, you know, kudos to, to, to not only the guys up front, but, man, those linebackers and safeties, you know, just helping us cage. You know, I think we had, we had two DBs get sacks today, you know, and, and that's special. All right, Nick, we're going to go back left side by the TV. Hey, versus. Adam Rossell with Spectrum News, Texas. Five weeks in, you're four and one, but where have you seen this team grow the most since those first few days of fall camp since week one? Where, where would you say you guys have kind of matured and grown the most? I would say, you know, honestly, uh, Notre Dame. You know, Notre Dame was like a punch in the mouth to us. You know, that, that game hurts. You know, we can't get that one back. I think Notre Dame, you know, was, was a great time to be humble. Uh, 
And I think guys took it as a challenge, you know, especially especially defensive line. You know, uh, they were saying we, we couldn't stop the run. So I think, uh, you know, just Notre Dame. All right, it's time for one last question. If you have a question, raise your hand. Any more questions? All right, Owen, it's coming to you. Last question. Owen Buchanan with Tech Sags again. Um, Nick, when A&M scored to take the lead, uh, there were still nine minutes to go. Uh, so how much, and I asked Lee on this, how much uh, concern, nervous, whatever you want to put it, did you all feel, do you think, as a defense at, at that moment? What was the, you think the frame of mind of the defense at that moment was? I think it was excitement, you know, to, to, to go up and then have the opportunity to go out and stop them on defense. You know, while, while our, our offenses just scored for us, it was uh, very exciting. And, you know, you want to be in that position. So uh, it was it, it was a, a good challenge. And, uh, you know, luckily, luckily we prevailed. All right, Nick, thanks so much. Thank you all.